Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, talking about uh, interpolating string, uh, spring, which is basically a spring animation, uh, which uh, defines the interpolation uh, based upon uh, different properties like mass, stiffness, damping, initial velocity, uh, and applies it to the spring animation. Uh, so we can take a look like, you know, how it affects our animation and our animation timing curve to give it a really nice uh, spring-based animation look, or uh, spring-based animation. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, now, so first of all, like a little bit about interpolating, uh, interpolating spring animation. It basically uses a damping uh, spring model uh, to produce the values uh, that has ranged from zero and one. And uh, those values are used to interpolate basically uh, the view uh, a from value to to value range uh, with the animated property, that property that you're animating. For example, if you're animating an offset, it actually uses uh, that interpolation, uh, the range that's been calculated on the spring model to interpolate the value of your uh, property, okay? And it also preserves the velocity across the uh, uh, different animations. So if there are any overlapping animations uh, that are adding uh, different kind of effects, it actually maintains and, 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 and preserves the velocity velocity of those as well, okay? And it takes like few parameters like mass, uh, stiffness, damping, um, and uh, initial velocity as an example uh, for the parameters. I mean, not as an example, actually there are four parameters. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and, and get started. So we're gonna create this tortoise uh, uh, crossing the road and uh, we're gonna put them, put that tortoise on the animation side. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a restack first of all. And before actually we do that, we need to also have a state property. So let's create that while we are at the top. And we're also only gonna change X value. So we can simply say position X takes the CG float uh, or basically create it as CG float because you're gonna uh, set that value for the offset. And uh, now we can actually create a Z stack first. So we're gonna create our road first with rectangle. And we're gonna say frame. Its height is going to be 50 points. Okay, gonna have another rectangle. And its height is going to be two points with foreground color to be white. Okay. So let's go ahead and try it again and uh, see what we got. So there we have our road created, um, a very simple road. And uh, we can actually offset this. The uh, reason I want to offset this um, is because uh, I want to put tortoise on the top of the road. Okay, so we're gonna create an edge stack where our tortoise is gonna go. And we're gonna use system name, tortoise.fill. Okay, and uh, there we have our tortoise. And uh, we can actually give it a font, large title. Let's change a foreground color so we can at least see the guy. There you go. All right, he's sitting right on the top of the line. Okay, that's perfect. Now, um, we can actually put a spacer here to move our tortoise back to the beginning of the screen. Okay, so you can move uh, through, uh, like, you know, through the screen on the other side. Okay, now with, the, with that, uh, let's give it an offset. And this is where we're gonna observe our change of our offset. So um, this offset of position X, this is where we can observe that. And we're also gonna add the animation here as well. And our animation is going to be animation dot interpolating string, okay? And it takes uh, these values that we talked about, mass, basically mass of the object, because you're 
um, animation actually affects the heavy, like, you know, the, the weight of the, or mass, not, not the weight, but basically it sort of represents the same thing, but it's the mass of the object. So let's say if we have our object of mass one with stiffness, of to 100, let's say 100, damping to be 3, okay, initial velocity to be 0, and we want to repeat forever, just to uh, uh, see, like, you know, how it affects, and uh, we're going to put the speed at 0 0.5 to start off. Now, there's one more thing we need to do, is uh, we need to set on up here, so on up here, okay, and this on up here is going to change the position x plus equal 300. There we go. Okay, with that, all right, so there we go. Our tortoise is actually animating, and as you can see, like, you know, when he's animating, he actually goes beyond the bound of his uh, end point, and then slowly set and settles in to the position where he want to be, okay? So that's what uh, spring animation that we were talking about last time, like, you know, we were seeing very subtle difference of this, like, you know, spring uh, being interpolated and object moving uh, out of the screen and then out of the bound it's supposed to end at um, and then coming back, but this is like more clear. Now, you can try applying different things, for example, let's increase the mass, and as you can see, the animation actually changes depending upon the mass of the object. So our tortoise is actually now rather heavy and the spring damping is low. That means he's gonna be um, interpolating between that uh, two different values like for a long time before settling in to its position. Now let's change the damping, see how it affects basically our uh, animation. So you must notice, like, you know, there's slightly, uh, like, you know, it's slightly more faster, like, you know, where he's settling now. Let's increase it to 100, and you're going to see it basically does not go back and forth. It just settles in very, very nicely. Okay. And same with the value of uh, stiffness. You can actually try a different value for your stiffness, I would say. Um, Let's give it a 10 for damping, uh, so we can see it's moving a little bit fast. Okay, so, as you notice, there is a bit of stiff, stiffness, stiffness that's being applied. Let's change the mass to 1, and uh, it's going to basically show you how stiff our spring is. And I don't know if you can see, but like at the end, it sort of like jitters a bit before settling into position. Okay. So let's go ahead and give this stiffness again 100 and uh, let's change the damping to be 2. And uh, there we go. We have our nice interpolating spring animation in place. Okay. So, yeah, so this was uh, the example I want to show you to basically show you how you can use different values for mass, stiffness, damping, and initial velocity to create an interpolating spring animation within Swift UI. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in next video. Thank you.